Okay, so thin hammer, I guess also known as hammer tone on the high voltage form. He posted the Arduino code he used for his QCW ramp generator. Basically set of square waves, modulated on times, more or less you want to translate into this ramp on the filtered buck converter output. You combine that with this, which is basically just his uh, drawing, how you put it all together. I haven't really wired this all up this way yet. Um, I, I had not realized that there was this draw until after I had already uh, connected everything up, but I just hooked up all the pots. Right here you can see one of these is going to be like the, I guess you could say the always on, the fire, and then you got another one that's a, a one shot. But see right here he's got basically uh, switch debouncing circuits, which he says is necessary because when you close a mechanical switch there is some degree of extremely fast can't really see with the naked eye type uh, bouncing that goes on in the contacts. It's not a pure clean switch, but I haven't really worried about that yet. I've just kind of added a switch and left it on all the time. I'm using a cheap Arduino Uno that I got off uh, Amazon. Just got the output going to a uh, gate driver. And the actual code is not long. Um, you know, it's fairly straightforward. I don't actually get it all, but... See, he's got explanations here, so you can pretty much kind of see how you hook it up based on that. But you got these five pots, and that allows you to vary all these various things here. So that's pretty cool. So right here is my janky test setup. A couple pretty big caps, a couple IGBTs in parallel. Right now, this is sort of a placeholder filter. This is just a random biggest toroid I had laying around. It's like a 2 microfarad cap, something like that. 1.2 millihenry, maybe, something like that. It's a pretty serious core right there. This right here is just a gate driver chip. So, at the moment, there's nothing isolated. So, I'm, I'm going to eventually have to figure that out. It's pretty straightforward. Five pots here. On, off switch for the signal. So, basically, kind of sucks about this. You know, you've got a lot of wiring going on, so... I've got this supply right here that's running it all right now just because it for the moment happens to work out because I've got three outputs going. So I've got this USB going, powering the Ardu yeah, Arduino, which this might not be a good idea, but you know, I'll probably work out maybe uh that's own separate supply, put it in a box, something like that. Connection on here that's powering an inverter back there that's looping around and going feeding this variac right here the output of that variac is looping around and it's feeding the uh, bridge rectifier here so and then i've got the regular dc output that's basically just going to power the gate driver so <laughs> that's basically how that's going so i've actually got this halogen this 90 watt halogen as a load so that's uh looping around no 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 that's this plug right here so this is basically on the output of the buck converter. This is the scope on the output of the buck. And that's just how it's kind of temporarily uh, laid out right now. So right now everything's going, but I've got no voltage. It's all drained out of the cap. So I'll start cranking that up. I'm just gonna put it 40 volts because at the moment going too much higher than that. Let's see, I reach a point where it kind of it starts wigging out about right there at the moment. It's just a hair over 40 volts. You can see I've actually got fairly fast uh, repetition rate going on. Uh, so it's like 20 hertz. And just kind of barely lighting up that bulb there. So that's pretty much what the ramp is looking like. Let me see if I can kind of change up frequency there. So. If I slow it down, if I start slowing it down too much, it interestingly starts kind of wigging out. So anyway, that's the ramp. That is actually the output voltage of the buck converter into that uh, load right there. And if I start playing with the knob, as you can kind of see, of course my, uh, let me bring the voltage down some so it's not uh, wigging out so much so. Basically, uh, one knob, 
you see it's controlling the amplitude of how high that uh, voltage peaks at the end of the ramp then I've got one that's more or less controlling the on time that might not be correct I have to uh, look at the explanations and this other one here Oops. You can see I can use that one to uh, really shorten, you know, bring that ramp all the way down. And the next knob is the uh, repetition. So, let's see, you can kind of change that around. Resolution kind of sucks. Go back in. You can see what's happening. All that crazy rippling going on for some reason until I start. You can hear the little chirping and that inductor also. When I start picking up the repetition rate a little bit, it kind of cleans up. So I'm not real sure what's going on. You know, interference, I can kind of like move my hand around the circuit and it'll mess up at times as well. Um, but yeah, that's that's the rant so it's pretty pretty simple it really as far as that goes you know the uh coder did all the work uh, mr finn hammer did all the work for you so you know you just literally download the code plug in the arduino to the computer and uh boom oh yeah and then uh, the last knob by the way i totally forgot that's more or less that what you would call the the wick adjustment so i like calling it a plasma pilot light you can see what's happening it's um increasing or decreasing how high that initial ledge is that will start off the ramp that's pretty cool one thing i'll say is when i first uh, which i might need to pull that pin low matter of fact now that i think about it it's actually probably what it is when i first wired this up i didn't have a schematic so i was just kind of like all right well i'll just hook it up how i think it is I had the one shot pin hooked up to just a single lead coming out and I hadn't quite hooked that to anything yet but just the floating noise on that pin that lead hanging out was really wigging that thing out it just was not working right at all so it started working as soon as I just pulled the lead off 